This video is about pre-setting breakout rooms in Zoom, specifically how to incorporate student preference, the why and the how. For the why, I'll go ahead and go over how it's a pro for students and a pro for educators to allow student input into the preset breakout rooms. And then for the how, I will go in logistically how to preset within Zoom and how I asked for student preferences and input. So first up, the why. I would say that there are three overall pros for students when presetting breakout rooms with their preference. Number one, and most importantly, it helps students feel safe, comfortable, and empowered. They get to use their voice, they feel respected, they're working with others who they feel comfortable with working with, so they feel comfortable in being themselves. Secondly, it helps students learn how to critically think about their work style. Who do I work well with? Who do I not work well with? What do I need to be as effective as possible? Thirdly is it helps students learn to be responsible for their choices because they chose who they are working with. So in the past, when students are like, oh, it's not going so well in my group, we revisit their preferences about why they made those preferences and reflect on how we can bring back the positives that they were hoping for in working with those people or reflecting on what would have been a better choice and how we can get them into a more effective group for them. This is also a really important life skill in college and the workforce, we're asked to make choices all the time, but in school, they're not often asked to make choices. And so we're sending them off into college and the workforce without having practiced that skill. And so I think that this is a really effective way to get them to practice choice. Um, how does it benefit us as educators? It helps create a very strong classroom culture. The classroom is now ours and not just mine. Um, students, when they feel safe in a classroom, they're more inclined to participating and participate in discourse, which is beneficial for all. And lastly, it sets this precedent for future class decisions that students' voices are an integral part, which will then continue to develop classroom culture and foster student learning. So now how do you do this? First up, you have to go into your overall Zoom settings where you're going to allow yourself to preset your breakout rooms. So to quickly find this in the settings, since there are a lot of settings under settings, you can just click Control F or Command F and search breakout. Then this will come up. Um, you wanna make sure that that checkbox is checked as it will allow you to assign participants to breakout rooms. Then for each individual meeting, um, you are going to create the breakout rooms based on who is in the class. So you're going to select the class you wanna preset the breakout rooms, scroll down to edit this meeting. Then you're gonna scroll down to the meeting options, make sure that breakout room pre-assign is checked and then click edit. Once you click edit, this box will pop up. You can only preset breakout rooms using email addresses so you can have them use their district login and ensure that students are logging in to Zoom through that or you can ask them for their email addresses that they use to log in. And the best way is to create an Excel spreadsheet with the, stu the students' names and then their email addresses sorted into groups, and then you can easily set them that way. You can also rename groups for group names. All you have to do is click in each one, and then you can go ahead and edit it. And last but not least, um, just a tip that I've learned through doing this is be careful when you click enter or return. So when you go to actually type in their email addresses, you have to click enter in order to get it to populate into the group. But I found that when I didn't have anything typed in there, out of habit, I would just click enter. Like after I would finish setting up a group, I'd wanna hit enter. But then what that would do is take me out of this box and lose all of the things that I had just set up. So make sure to hit save and be careful with enter and return when you don't have a participant's email address typed in. Last but not least, this is how I ask for student preferences and input for the preset breakout rooms. It's the same system that I've used for the past seven years when we were in person for seating charts, um, except I just modified it for a virtual setting. So these were the questions that I would ask uh, when creating those seating charts, and I just took them and turned it into a Google form. So the questions that I ask are explaining that I like to do a lot of partner and group work. So please include who you would prefer to work with. And they can include as many people as they'd like, or if they have no preference, they are definitely welcome to say that. And then I included a link to the class roster because they might not know who everyone is in the class just because it is on Zoom. And so it's a little bit more difficult to see that. Secondly, I like to ask the reverse of that. Who in this class would you not like to work with? I think this question is just as important because just like us as adults, we have people who 
maybe we don't, our work styles don't go as well together, or we've had previous issues, which could inhibit our productivity. And so we want to be able to give students a chance to share that with us. And then also students use this as an opportunity to be totally honest, saying this person's my best friend, but we are not productive together. And so I usually like to use those three things as examples when going over this and reassuring students that no one else will see this except for me because the last thing I would want is for these preferences to have any detrimental impacts on students and their relationships with others. So this is the system I use for presetting breakout rooms with student preference. It has proven um, effective thus far for me and I hope it does the same for you.